Yo, what's going on, peeps? T4IQ penetrating new drums again with uh, episode two of uh, my BP hunt. Uh, kind of going to be the same as the last one, guys. Kind of playing people that are, let's say, uh, of a lower skill bracket. Uh, but I still think there's something to be learned. I don't want to call them scrubs news. Uh, I'll probably do like a can of poke to talk about that, what I think about that. But uh, yeah, I think when it comes to sort of people that don't uh, obviously go into the game in depth as obviously us slot do, it's it's interesting to see what not being brainwashed or conditioned to do stuff affects someone's game style, uh, i.e. doing something that's not unsafe. You won't expect someone to do it that knows the game because they you think they wouldn't do that because that's a risk. But if you're not expecting it, it will probably hit you. So it's kind of hard to condition people that don't understand. Uh, and it, it does definitely keep on your toes. So I wouldn't say any of these matches are easy. I get away with a lot of stuff like normal like cross-ups that wouldn't normally work on other players because they'd be ready for it. Uh, general mix-ups I think obviously abuse people that don't know the game mechanics as much like obviously there it would be like well you're pretty new to the game I know you're gonna wake up with something I didn't think it was gonna do an auto combo but I was I was prepared for something so I backed away uh, yeah general stuff like that but it's definitely good to practice or play people less skilled although it's hard to get run backs that I've noticed online as soon as you beat someone on ranked they pretty much don't want to play people keep kicking you every time you join them again uh, so for the next one I'm definitely going to try and do some Pandora stuff I'm going to make it look like a close match so I can play them more than once just to try and get my points up and then hopefully start playing better people to make these games more interesting to you but then I can actually start commentating what's going on uh, my thought process obviously at the moment my thought process is waiting for them to whiff and then punish it <laughs> and that's pretty much it and then just cross out jump with Brian uh, a lot of these matches are pretty laggy there's a lot of stuff I mess up don't mess up that lucky enough but yeah a lot of stuff I do mess up yeah silly silly gimmicks like that that work once in the blue moon uh, he woke up with Randhurst that like it that threw me well off because I was not ready for that a DP yeah wake up tattoo well threw me off definitely need to get the uh Ooh, come on, come on. Uh, definitely need to get the mindset of uh, what people should and shouldn't do out of my head uh, in general a lot more when I'm playing someone like this but in general I think I should start doing that it's, it's obviously necessary to do like counter pokes and stuff like that to whip punish because that's normally it's never a raw reaction so I don't know I've got to find a happy medium uh, with Bison I love me some close strong trade love them but uh, uh, yeah basically about the unpredictability the unorthodox style that beginning or people that just play as a casual game do I was hell up unorthodox yeah I wasn't really fair jumping I didn't think jump there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a tactic that I should or well, most people think should adopt oh, I missed it. It, it can be useful Especially when you've established that you should respect me and you do something wacky. It's a, uh, it helps, helps a lot of times. I've been hit by it and I just think, oh, you're such a scrub, but it's like, I'm the biggest scrub for falling for it most of the time. So, uh, yeah, I might, I might do a little like can of poke talk about that at some point, but uh, I'll try and commentate these last two games <coughs> on the last one. So I've got, got my first rage raid message this silly silly message that came through pretty much but yeah uh, so yeah Bryce and Brian standard yeah Brian Golds against Kaz and Ogre I've never seen this team I could see it working uh, maybe not in that order I'd probably put Ogre for some point Kaz in the back but then again Kaz doesn't need me to do damage Oh, I missed a sweep. I don't know why I did that. I never finished chain forward it. Every time. I'm gonna play Lazar now. 
uh, standard boost chain, back into Bison, want the, uh, the footsies, tag back into Bison, I like, I think Bison Ogre's a lot better than Brian Ogre, I, just, I can take less risks, uh, Ogre can do some really silly stuff, and I want to be at a safe range where I can still be threatening, with uh, Brian you can't really do that, uh, I'm doing a sort of matchup stuff for Brian, it's in the works, the first one is Brian against Bison, and I'm, I really want to show people that Brian isn't, I'm not going to say he's whack, he's not bad, but there's a lot of things that Brian players get away with, like, especially Mark Breaker. Mark Breaker is so punishable, like, I don't want to, like, spoil it, but Mark Breaker is ridiculously punishable. I can't remember the frames exactly, it's definitely double figures, it's got to be double figures, but obviously it's hard to punish because of the distance it puts you at, but I'm a... Uh, I'm gonna blow myself up because obviously I play Brian and any other Brian player and I think people that don't play Brian will probably find it interesting just because I'm showing the weaknesses of my character not just how to use Brian to be Bison. Uh, in my opinion I think it's a 5-5. Five five. Uh, I think before I started going into details about the approaches and what you can and can't do against each character I thought it was in Bison's favour but now that I've, I've checked out the reversals and what I can do to Bison and not be scared of. Uh, you can put on a lot of pressure with Brian if Bison's got no meter. Because he cut there's a lot of things he can't get out of unless he does EX like uh, a lot of me setups, a lot of resets, uh, anti roll stuff. So yeah hopefully we can see that. Uh, I'll hope that people will agree with me. It's a 5-5. Five five. I think Bison's a better character but I think the matchup is is five five. It is five five. If you if you play correctly, quote unquote. Uh, for me, I hate mirror matches. I, I can't fight. No, I'm getting hit by the the most basic resets or the most basic gimmicks like guess it is, the Tekken stream, Ryan's Tekken stream. And it's because I know that it's not safe. See? And I panicked, I thought, I've got to do something because he's still going to go for the overhead. I didn't think just block. Let me interrupt it to try and teach him a lesson, but I should have just blocked it. Uh, but yeah, I do go in to how to punish that with Bison anyway, and when I get through some of the cast, I'll show other ways of punishing that, that stupid string. Most people know just DP it, but if you ain't got a DP character, it's, uh, it's, it's tricky. Like, it's, it's not a free punish. It's like a frame trap, like a really bad frame trap that you don't want to like get on the, the wrong end of. The, 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 the conversion from Brian is, is free. It's so easy, hell easy. Uh, so yeah, the mirror matches to me aren't good because I just think, well if I was Brian or I was Bison, I wouldn't be doing that. Uh, but I get the FA, uh, sorry, the CADC Crash Fierce. Just, uh, I think someone's blocked it once whenever I've crossed them up. Maybe because most brands don't do that. Most most good brands go for fishermen. I find that really hard, and I think Crash is just a lot better. There, I just backdashed it. It's like, yeah, stop doing that. Stupid guessing. Ah, oh, missed the one frame link. Pretty sorty. And yeah, and yeah again. Bit late. No CADs. He's gonna bring that. Uh, corner combo. Ah, oh, was meant to do heavy scissors. I did that time. Neutral jump. Fierce, round bounce, yeah, that's cute. Not much damage. Oh, I've got elbows to the jaw. DP, hella random. Didn't go into snake bite, uh, snake pit, sorry. Good thing I backdashed that, because I could have pressed the button. Go for my reset, but uh, shouldn't have done that one. I should have done the roundhouse one, where if they're pressing any buttons, they get hit and I get a combo. I tried to go for the cross under, the scissors, but if you're pressing buttons, you beat three, it's not safe. Definitely should have done for Radhas. So yeah, that's it guys. Oh no, no, it's not it. Because after this match, I got a little message from a uh, Hulk vs version one. I'm guessing that's what the V stands for. Uh, he wasn't happy about my play, and I did reply. I can't remember what I said. I think I just asked him like a sort of trolley reply saying, "Oh, what combo was that?" But uh, yeah, he sent me an interesting message. I'm guessing it's a sort induced message. One combo spam. Uh, didn't really read into it, I just deleted it to be fair. But uh, it was interesting, I've never had that kind of uh, insult thrown at me. So I'm 
just playing by Yeah, he's got more than Ryan has, but that's all I'm going to do. But anyway, guys, that's it. Obviously, here are the other designs. Please check them out. All the links are in the description below. Let me know what you think about the designs and obviously my uploads. And I'll catch you guys later.